Well, it finally happened. 2020 broke me. It broke me, guys. <laughs> Life update. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You'll never leave me. You'll never leave me. First and foremost, thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I notice you. I see you. Uh, my channel has been growing, and I don't know why. Because at one point, I got like three new subscribers in like one hour, and I was like, why? <laughs> what did y'all see? <laughs> How did I fool you into subscribing? This is not quality content. This is a person breaking down on camera, sir. But nevertheless, thank you. Welcome. So, at the beginning of the year, I had a whole video about how I was like, cancel the year. 2020 is over as a joke. If you remember that video, I missed my flight. My card got hacked into. I lost money. I couldn't put my nose ring on. The year was pretty bad. But this was January. And I was like, oh, no, no. Surely the year is going to be better. <laughs> The year started, university was going good, life was going good, guys. To quote a friend of mine, the trajectory was blissful, okay? Like, I'm talking, I was going to clubs, I was hanging with my friends, I was going to hospital. By all accounts, the year was going good. And then COVID. Miss Rona, Coco V herself, the queen of the moment. <laughs> that flipping... <laughs> Ooh. Coming from living in a pandemic. Okay, cool. So, I came back home on the 19th of March, and then there was lockdown a week later. I think somewhere, I don't know when lockdown was. I don't really care at this point. Nothing matters. We're all going to die anyway, right? Um, but anyway, when lockdown started, I was positive. I have tried to stay positive so many times this year. Let me tell you, I am not a positive person, but I tried. I tried so hard and I remember in the last video I was all like you know there's so many fun things you can do during lockdown you know what you you can dye your hair Gwijiji, we couldn't even buy hair dye during lockdown level five and four so so there I was living in a pandemic during lockdown wasting away I admit for the first few weeks of lockdown, I tried to study, I failed, I got over it, I watched series, I was happy. I had a routine going, I was waking up, and you know what, life was pretty good. Um, then when online learning started, online learning, I am studying from home. And it's noisy. AF. Have you ever tried studying psychiatry from home have you ever tried teaching yourself psychiatry when there's children crying in the background you haven't have you i don't recommend it <laughs> don't recommend it but it's cool we move we started muscular now oh jesus jesus the musculoskeletal system is basically all of this like just all the muscles and the skeletons and the ligaments and the tendons and the nerves and the arteries that make it all up and the fascia. Oh, don't forget the fascia, baby. Um, all of that. So needless to say, muscular one was a lot. Then they decided to split our one test at the end of the module into three tests that week. <sighs> it's a pandemic. People are dying. Why am I writing more tests? It's fine. You know, the class wanted to be cute and write little mini tests. Have a fun time. <laughs> I never felt so demotivated to study in my whole life. I got, I studied for the first two tests. If you see this in a few years and I'm a doctor, I'm competent. So I'm going to have to study all of that again before exams. And I will study it because, you know, I'm in the business of becoming a doctor and all of the work eventually somehow is very much useful and I'm gonna have to do it, but there's no time. Why? Because we got into muscular two. So I finished one module already. It was a shit show. It was a dumpster fire. Everything went wrong. I wanted to cry. <gasps> hmm. I hate it here. Now, muscular two is happening 
at this point i am sort of numb to my surroundings you know what i mean like the kids could cry i couldn't care less me i move i study i study what i study if i don't know it i'm gonna see it in the test i'm gonna study in the test then the first test that i wrote for this new module the university tried some weird shit <laughs> let me tell you what they did the whole concept of this test that i wrote man <laughs> is that the, the questions use something called conditional branching, which essentially means that, um, that the questions are grouped, right? So question one, question two, question three are in one group. So if I answer question one, I can then go forward to answer question two and question three and get all the marks. But if I get question one wrong, I don't get to answer question two and three. That means that there will literally be questions that I will not get to see if I get stuff wrong. So at the end of my test, um, <laughs> I had 33% of the questions that I never got to see because I'd gotten so many questions wrong that I never even got a chance to attempt 33% of my paper. This paper didn't have a timer on it. I didn't know how like the time was working. We didn't know how many questions there actually were. By all accounts, it was one of the worst tests I've ever written. So we complained to the university, gave feedback, and the lecturer literally told us that his job is to set assessments that are fair, wada 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 and not necessarily ones that make us happy. And I'm like, it's not about happiness, sir. It's about how inconvenient the test of, was to us as people were writing it. But anyway, I digress. I move on. It was terrible. It was inhumane. But I'm a medical student. Like, it's, I'm, not, I'm not not used to, like, inhumane acts. It happened all the time. We move. I'm not even sure what the timeline is like at this point. But right after that test, that horrible, horrible test, uh... Black Lives Matter happened and George Floyd died and it was heavy, it was intense and the weight of being black was very much evident in the country, in the world and I was crumbling. Still probably am crumbling. It is so much to take in. It is so bad. I am so overwhelmed. I am just by all accounts going through it. Needless to say, um, I think now the fact that I'm actually filming a video is I'm in a better space. I, I, I tried to film content throughout. I, I, I have been trying throughout all of lockdown to provide quality content and film stuff and edit stuff, but I could not, for the life of me, bring myself to, because academically, <sighs> academically, call the ambulance, guys. Academically, I'm not fine. Um, we're still very much in a pandemic, and people seem to have forgotten about that. So it's very much iffy. Um, Black Lives Matter. But you know what? All of those things, they had me on the edge. On the edge, guys. I was on the edge. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I tried to film a YouTube video a while back when I was reacting to movies. I edited the heck out of it, right? And then I uploaded it. And it got taken down because it was copyright. And I'm just like, yes, of course it's copyright. It's a movie review. And then so now I have to re-edit that. But I have not had the energy to even attempt such a thing. At this point, on the edge, guys. I was on the edge. I was on the edge, and I just needed one more thing. Just one more thing to just, like, boop, and boop, just... And that one more thing happened, because 2020 does not give up, baby. 2020 is a time. 2020 really is that, girl. 2020 said, move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Say, get out the way. I said, move. So, what pushed me over the edge, you might ask? Well... I'm not gonna cry. So in an attempt to save my degree, um, my university is proposing to do some weird, very weird snacks things with the order of my modules, which means that I might have to do some fourth year modules now, like next semester, except I am not mentally prepared. Not because the modules themselves are harder per se. I don't think they are. I think we're all capable of doing the modules themselves. It's just that Am I capable of doing all of these modules during a pandemic when I am home and my resources are in the res in Cape Town, 1,200 kilometers away from me? I have no printing access. My internet is weird. My connection sucks. And you want me to start fourth year modules when I'm not even sure I'm going to pass the third year modules? So I need one more thing to put me over the edge. Worst of all, the hospital that we uh, study in, um, Parts of it have closed down, 
more of it might close down because it's a breeding ground for COVID-19. So essentially, um, we might not have a hospital to practice at at the end of this year. So, you know, it's either, at, the, at this point, it's either we do the fourth year modules now so we can not do practicals and rotate next year or we just wait and see if we can use the hospital and then maybe at the end of it not be able to and then graduate like a year later i spilled my drink <laughs> i hate this year <laughs> this is my lowest point i think in my life here i am sucking gin off a sweater 2020 baby yeah 20 plenty so if i'm being honest if i'm being honest um i don't know how much more i can take i should probably see a therapist like i miss my therapist she was a fun time um but like jokes aside like things are very serious like at this point i don't know what my degree holds i don't know what it all is Side note, I just got some of my marks back as well for the test that I wrote like we're at the beginning of this whole situation and wow. <laughs> you tell yourself because you're studying from home and you know you're gonna do the best you can in this pandemic and that <laughs> your marks are still the same, baby. Your marks are still the same. Just because you're home in a comfortable environment does not mean that you're gonna do better. Again, it makes sense. It's not like I got smarter by moving back home. In fact, I would assume my marks would have been worse. Like, I was really much prepared for marks to be way worse. Um, so, yeah. By all accounts, that's happening. Also, I got ghosted the other day. I'm adding insult to injury. I got ghosted. Someone DM'd me. And they were like, you know, hey, can I have your number? And I gave them my number. And then they disappeared on, on me. You're going to ghost me? I'm clearly doing well. I'm clearly husband material i'm clearly the moment you know what i mean you're gonna you're gonna ghost me you you're gonna ghost me a quality man by all accounts an intellectual a funny man a man you can bring home to your mother can you tell i'm hurt by it like i'm genuinely like what else is going wrong in my life I, if you give me a minute i can think about it oh yeah one of the modules that I might ha I might have to do next uh, semester is pharmacology. Pharmacology broke me as a module in the first year. It was the worst part of my like student experience before this. I think having to remember all of those drugs with my crappy with my crappy memory was bad. It was by all accounts terrible. But you know I persevered through it, and now I have to do pharmacology again this year. I'm not ready for that. I'm not. I'm not ready for in a pandemic. I must do pharmacology in a pandemic when racism still exists. Also, one thing that happened because of Black Lives Matter, this video is very ranty. If you've managed to stay here this far, kudos to you. I'm proud of you. Um, you're doing great, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> but like, um, one thing that's happened during this whole Black Lives Matter movement is that um, I don't know why I've become the white people whisperer. I feel like because I'm very vocal and I like give people advice on like how to be better allies and you know I'm very much a vocal person a vocal person when it comes to Black Lives Matter I can't protest because of my location I'm in the rural Kazan Inn like I just I, it's not feasible um, but I've tried my best to give knowledge out there to repost the things to share and to uh, like donate and to sign the petitions on my part so I don't know I became the white people whisperer because white people keep coming to me and they keep coming and saying sorry and I'm like baby girl I don't need you to be sorry I need you to help me dismantle the system you know what I mean like I don't need you to like tell me that you feel bad for you know what you people did to me that's you know it, it, it happened continues to happen every day so what can we do about it like let's talk facts let's talk growth let's talk you being a voice for the oppressed you know what I mean 
here's what we can do. And I gave them a lot of stuff you can do as an ally, you know what I mean? Um, amplify black voices. Educate yourself so that when situations happen in real life, you can actually have conversations with people. Um, use platforms you have. If you have Instagram, let's talk about that. Let's get on Instagram, ask a young question, ask a simple question, because once, once you ask a question to people, they will respond to you and you know their, like, their level of understanding and you can go from there. Like, use any platform, be it conversation in real life, using social media, there's a lot you can do as, a, as an ally. But people have been coming to me to say sorry, and they've been coming to me to ask for my story and how I feel about it, and I'm like, I am tired. I am tired. If you know any history in South Africa, you know that black people are tired. <laughs> I am not your educator, ma'am. <laughs> I am pretty much going through it. I am a rake. I have to write tests and hold back tears because pe black people are dying every day and I have to act fine and it's like, mm, mm, I don't want to also tell you how not to be a racist. You know what I mean? So that's just something that's been bothering me um, as a person. What else happened guys? I can assure you there's many, many a thing that keep happening because it's a terrible, terrible year. I want to cancel it by all accounts. I hate it here. I think I gained weight. Um, not mad about it, you know what I mean? Like, not like, oh my god, I gained weight, how fat. More like, I gained weight, but I bought scrubs. Like, I bought scrubs, and I never got to wear them in a hospital because, like, the module I was on, like, the rotation I was on, didn't really need me to wear scrubs. So, I have scrubs, like, in the plastic that are beautiful and, you know, meticulous and very much ready to be worn, but now they might not fit me, so I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, man, but all in all, um, just to summarize in case you fell asleep or didn't really care what I said, um, academically flourishing, mental health is not really a thing right now. Um, still black, so that pretty much still hurts every single day because people refuse to see the systems that still oppress us or continue to oppress us and how it has deeply, deeply affected our psychology and how we go about thinking things as black community and no matter how hard we try, we can never really come to it because we just complain. Um, so I'm tired, I am overworked, I am overwhelmed. But, um, I think, no, I'm not going to say I'm going to be good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, I had four mental breakdowns yesterday. Because yesterday was the day we found out, found out about, like, the whole academic reschedule, reschedule thing. So, I might or might not have cried a few times, you know. Like, four. It's cool. It's cool. I'm fine now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing better. Um, but, like, all jokes aside, on seriousness, like, guys, please prioritize your mental health. Like, please prioritize your mental health. I cannot stress this enough. I know it sounds easier said than done. I, myself, am guilty of it. I say these things, but then I don't really do them. I continue to just fall into bad habits. But please, right now, prioritize yourself. It is very hard to stay sane in this moment, but it is not a cry. For, it is not bad to cry for help. Please do. <sighs> please do. Other than that, I'm really convinced that the year should end and that life in existence should end. Um, and that's not coming from like a depressed point of view, that's just like science. At this point, you know, this whole human experiment, this whole living thing has failed. We have failed Mother Earth, we have failed each other. So I just feel like we need to like, you know, cut the experiment, you know? You know, end the simulation, pull the cord, sound, sound the trumpets. Like, I'm, like, we're ready. Like, we're, humanity's done. Like, just... It ended like it's it's not working out it's you know we, we keep thinking we're gonna be better but like we're really not so i just feel like you just someone needs to end this and real quick that being said if you like this video please continue to like this video i will continue to try to make content if i don't i don't if i do i do um and i hope everyone is doing as fine as they possibly could be despite the world falling apart um bye <laughs>